Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the coloring set by Mel Chemistry, we will learn how to dye a cotton cloth using food coloring. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the tie-dye experiment, you will need solutions of curcumin, chlorophyllin, and anthocyanin. You will also need the cloth, wooden stick, two rubber bands, and a plastic bag from the experiment set. Before and after the experiment, you will need to wash the cloth with water. First, prepare your cloth. Dampen the cloth with water and wring out any excess. Spread the cloth out on a flat surface. Twist the wooden stick in the center of the cloth to ball it up. Guide the cloth using one hand. Remove the wooden stick and secure the twisted cloth using two crisscrossed rubber bands. Place the twisted cloth on a plastic bag, such as the bag used to hold the dyes. Apply the dyes to the fabric. Drip the yellow, green, and red dyes onto the cloth. Turn the cloth over and apply the dyes to the other side as well. Let the cloth sit for one hour. Remove the rubber bands and rinse the cloth with water. Spread the cloth out to see the results. You've made a colorful one-of-a-kind pattern. The cotton cloth consists predominantly of cellulose molecules, and the food coloring molecules form chemical bonds with the cellulose. In other words, they attach to the cloth, resulting in permanent colors. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.